A Spokane couple is making it their mission to figure out what you are eating for dinner. Huh. Hear us out here. The Supper Club in Spokane is taking all the thought out of meal prep. Oh, that's the hardest part. <laughs> so thankfully, our photojournalist Dave Summers went to find out more about these awesome local chefs. I'm Martha Dimitrovich and the owner of The Supper Club. I saw a picture of a TV dinner that someone else had made and I just remembered that that was kind of a, a warm, fuzzy, nostalgic feeling of getting to pick out that blue tray Swanson's TV dinner and going home and watching TGIF. I remember the food being horrible, but it's the memory and the experience being delicious. So. I wanted to try and create something that uh, triggered that memory in me, uh, but was better, better for you, better tasting, and, and fun. We were really born out of a greater need of a couple of our friends, and we didn't really have enough finances to make everything work from month to month, and so we pooled resources and helped each other's grocery budgets out and then worked together to make meals. We had extra, so then we were able to share with other people who also couldn't afford to contribute to the pot. The concept just grew from there and into this. When our family attended a church, I was somewhat in charge of the tree of people who were activated at times when a meal was necessary showing up when someone's at their lowest point and taking that one spinning plate away from them that they don't have to make sure that doesn't drop is everything sometimes. And when I've been in those similar situations, the things I valued the most were the friends or people who stepped in and just did something and didn't come and say, well, what can I do to help you? Food is the easiest way to love everyone no matter what and everything else usually falls in line after dinner. If you're full, then you can think straight. So that's, that's the goal.